Hey guys, I'm Violet. I'm one of your City Search Scouts in Los Angeles on the Hungry Channel and I'm also on the K-Town Show on Loud. Today we're back here in Koreatown because there just isn't enough time in one episode to taste all the different flavors and textures here in town. I have with me my boyfriend and he has never been to any of the locations we're testing out today. We're going to be trying some unusual and crazy eats, so I hope you're ready because I'm hungry. So we're here, his first time, well my first time at this location, but not this type of food. We're here at Cheongyejin and we're in the heart of Koreatown on Alexandrian 6th and they serve live seafood here. That's all I'm going to say because we're just going to let the food uh, speak, speak for, for itself. So we're going to do the live octopus. We're going to try this hangebul, which is also known as the spoon worm or the live penis fish. Yes, everybody, I just said penis, and that is what we'll be eating today. <laughs> I told you it's gonna get crazy. Okay, so the live octopus just got to the table, and as you can see, it's squirmy. Uh, they just cut the tentacles off, so that's the part that we'll be eating. They look pretty alive right now. Are you ready? Yeah. No, 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 hold on. I, I get to pick the piece for you. <laughs> they don't want to leave the plate, because they know they're gonna go to a warm place called Tummy. <laughs> Look at this! How interesting! <laughs> Are you ready? You gotta chew it thoroughly. What does it taste like? Salt water. Fish. Mm. It's so weird because it's like sucking onto like the inside of my mouth. Oh, uh, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it feels weird on my finger. It's like a little bug like crawling and like you can feel the suction, you know? Like, look at this. It's like stuck. <laughs> the octopus is weird because if you put it in your mouth and you don't chew it like she's doing, it like sucks on your tongue and your teeth and it's no just so oh, weird. No. Oh, no, it fell on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. So this is the live penis fish, which actually looks better like this than it did in the little bucket in the water. And it's really slippery. <laughs> I can't even grab it. Okay, forget it. Oh. Mm, I actually like the taste. It's like sweet a little bit. And it kind of tastes like a clam. It does. Like oysters. It's not really slimy. It has like a not kind of a bitterness probably from the ocean. It's actually really good. I'm surprised. I'm so surprised. Do you like it? Do you like penis in your mouth? <laughs> we've had the live octopus and we've had the live penis fish. We're gonna go to the next spot. So we're here at Sonajang. This place is a Korean barbecue place, but completely different than any of the other places because they serve duck here, which nobody else serves. And if you can see, it's sliced just like any other Korean barbecue meat. You can just hear the sizzling. They dump all this garlic into the pan because the oils that form onto this pan is so much that it ends up covering the whole pan. My boyfriend Blair here has never actually tried this. I know you're pretty excited, right? Yes, I love Korean barbecue. I've actually been here once before for a friend's birthday and I was surprised because me being Korean, I didn't even know that they served duck barbecue and when I found out about this place, like, I was like, oh my god, I'm in heaven because I love duck. I love Peking duck, I love foie gras, I love duck fat, I love everything duck. Donald duck? So basically what you do is you get a bed of lettuce and we're creating the perfect bite here right now. You get a piece of the duck. Look at all this fat that's like oozing out of it. And then you get the leeks, and a little bit of the chili paste, and the sliced onions. Mmm. I miss my onion. It has the texture of 
almost like a cow tongue. I don't know if you guys have tried it, but it's a little chewy, but not as hard to break down. Um, it's a little gamey as well, but not as gamey as like a lamb or a goat meat. It's really good. The meat has a different taste compared to like beef or chicken or anything like that, like pork. It's good. I feel like it's a combination of cow and pork in one. Cooking like in a fat gives it a really good flavor. So what do you think? It's time to duck out of here and go to the next place? Mm-hmm. All right. I'm ready. All right. So here we are at Cafe Blue. We will be testing out their kimchi pasta. They offer a variety of dishes that are really good, not to only the Korean palate, but also to the American palate, which um, a lot of Korean Americans actually frequent this bar. So here we have the kimchi pasta. There are other locations that try to imitate the dish here, but it's not even comparable because the sauce is a mixture of marinara and alfredo, and the aroma of kimchi, you can even just smell it right off the plate. It's the whole Italian dish, but with the Korean twist. Um, I think other places are a little scared to use too much kimchi because it might be too potent, but I think more kimchi the better. So you gotta mix it up well because the sauce is all on the bottom. So let's have a mm. It has the perfect consistency of like creaminess. It's not overbearing at all. And you can definitely taste the kimchi. It's got a kick to it. There's a ton of garlic. There's a ton of the red chili pepper flakes. If you can see, you can see the little speckles in here. And that's what gives it a kick as soon as it enters your mouth. You must come here next and order this because this will blow your mind. Nothing you have ever tasted before. The flavors are intense and it's not something that you can get at any other restaurant probably anywhere in near Los Angeles. So there you have it. You watch this make out with the octopus tentacles, eat some live penis fish, have duck barbecue, and end it with some kimchi pasta here in Koreatown. I'm Violet, your City Search Scout from Los Angeles. And make sure you like the video, subscribe to the Hungry Channel, and check out all the other scouts across the country. And I'll see you next time.